Testing one, two, three. Good evening, everyone. It is eight o'clock. I love to start on time, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Well, on behalf of Highland Academy, I want to welcome you to our Highland Academy Home Show Weekend, where tonight we get to uh, showcase the Highland Academy Gymnics, but not just the Highland Academy Gymnics, the Highland Elementary Tumble Crew is also going to be performing for us. So, super excited for a great weekend. I do have a couple small announcements for you. Uh, in case you didn't notice, maybe you can smell it, but we would strongly encourage you to head on back if you want some drinks or popcorn or pizza, whatever concessions, go on back and support the Student Association uh, by making this a, uh, a fantastic evening with your financial support. Uh, second of all, and this is probably the, even the more important one, Many of you know that uh, this weekend was our Academy Days, and uh, we've had several guests on campus this week. And we've actually had over 60 potential students on our campus for the weekend. And uh, as we close the weekend, as been our tradition, we always hand out scholarships. Tonight, it's going to be two $500 scholarships. So I want to invite Mr. Eric Johnson, our development director, to come on up. And we're going to draw names. Now, this is very, you know... Uh, very serious business. We're going to draw names out of a golf hat fitting for both of us here. And now you have to be present to win. So we may draw a couple names here, but again, these are two $500 scholarships. And uh, for your name to be in the hat here, all you had to do is complete an application to Highland Academy. So I'm going to let Mr. Johnson draw a name. He's not looking. And we have uh, Jasmine Warren. Jasmine Warren. Congratulations, come on up. Congratulations, Jasmine. Good job. All right, there's one. Looking for another one. All right. Um, Jace Sutherland? What? Jace is not here. Okay. Present to win. We're going to do another one. Victor Castillo. Where's Victor Castillo? There he is in the back. Come on down, Victor. Congratulations to you. Good job, Victor. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. All right, everyone. Without further ado, uh, let's have a word of prayer, prayer together, and we will start our, uh, our program. Let's bow your heads with me, please. Uh, Father God, thank you so much for this Sabbath day. Uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of uh, excitement built up here. Uh, the, the gym teams are, are ready to perform. Lord, I just pray for your safety and protection this evening. Uh, Lord, uh, they've worked hard this year, and I just pray for uh, a positive program here that uh, they will be able to reap the benefits of all the work they put in. And most importantly, Lord, as we have closed our Sabbath, we just want to invite you to be in this room with us. Uh, Lord, everything that we do here is to bring honor and glory to your name. And so I pray that you would bless uh, what happens this evening. Lord, we just thank you so much for our schools, Highland Academy and Highland Elementary. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless uh, and that you would make it known, Lord, who you want to be here. Lord, uh, much as the, the prayer of Jabez, Lord, that you would continue to enlarge our territories so that we can make an impact for you for the kingdom. So, Lord, again, thank you for being with us here tonight. In this we do pray. Amen. Amen. All right, at this time we'll turn it over to the Highland Academy Gymnics to start our program. Okay, good evening, guys. Just a few precautions for the show. Um, if you could please make sure that the Bluetooth is off on your phones, because um, it messes with our mics if uh, you know too many of them are on. Um, also, these lights are really, really hot, um, so please don't touch them and try not to trip over the cables. Um, and 
If I get in your way while I'm taking photos, I am so sorry. Uh, that is all. Hey, y'all! Are y'all ready for the Gym Mix Rodeo? We got some exciting things planned for you guys. You might even hear some bulls and cows. I think I hear them. We encourage you guys, if you see something you like, give it a big old clap and a yee-haw! And if you don't like it, do the same thing. We welcome you guys to the Gym Mix Hope Show!
right to the guys.
you to quite possibly the most eclectic rodeo on this side of 109. Now we do share some things that a real rodeo actually does have and we are about to embark on one of the events that we know that each of you have been on the edge of your seat to wonder if this budget rodeo does give you what you pay for. And the answer is most assuredly yes. We're about to start the bull riding competition and we got our local hometown champion. Logan, let me do anything for $5 now. He is riding the rankest, most dangerous bull that we have found again for our budget. Jackson, just stand in my way and run it. You will tell your grandchildren about this moment. Let's see if this boy can hit eight in three, two, one.
another contest portion. Some gentlemen's names were randomly drawn out of a hat. Mostly their vehicles were blocking my tractor, so we did my license plate number. Anyway, out in the middle of our arena there, there's a lasso. These gentlemen are standing in there for an opportunity to win a jackpot in today's economy, the equivalent of a full take of gas. Now, in order to get that prize, they again have to meet with our Toro, Jackson the Bull, the last man standing in the circle wins. All right, it looks like they're getting him good and mad. Either he hates red or freshly laundered shirts. We'll figure it out. In three, two, one.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's give it up for that great crowd at Capitol Gun Front, the Highland Elementary Tumble Crew!
Ladies and gentlemen, the Highland Elementary Tumble Crew. This is a part of our program where we, we change gears just a little bit and we do our, our team awards. But before we get started with that, I'd like to take a moment and just give some kudos and some thanks. Share our appreciation to a few groups of people. First is the Tumble Crew. We appreciate you guys being willing to come out to us. Becky and Chantel, I know you guys put a lot of work in it. And you keep sending us a lot of good gymnasts, so thank you. Another very important group of people that I would like to thank are our drivers. Our drivers do so much to make what we do happen logistically. And so without them, Mr. Mathis, Andy Wade, Mr. Palmer, Mr. Hilbert, I know he's not here right now, but Travis can win. We thank you guys. A couple other people, those individuals who have been so willing and so patient in working our audio and our spotlight back there. So we appreciate everything you guys have done to help make this something happen. And last but not least, we'd like to thank you all in attendance, in particular our sponsors. So a lot of what we are able to do is based on what we're able to bring in through fundraising. And you know, praise the Lord, and through your your generous giving, we were actually able to go to Union Acrofest this year out in Nebraska. So we really appreciate it. So we'll keep things moving. The, the awards that we have, these categories, they are voted by the team, for the team. We have, I want to say, six or seven different categories. Each one has a male and female part. Best base. Best Top, Best Middle, Best Tumbler, the Rayfon Lay Award, which is basically our team MVP, and then each year we have our theme award. This year our theme was Unbroken, and so the team members who has best exhibited what it means to embody what the essence of our theme entails. And so, I tell you what, why don't we start out with Best... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Got scared for a minute. Again, I want to thank my coaches too. I want to get started with best top. Let's do best top. And if I was a smart man, I'd put them in order of the right things. We'll blame my ADHD. <laughs> so this year, Voted our girls' best top, Maddie Schmidt. <laughs> this year, our guys' best top, Carson Watkins. This year's best middle goes to, for the ladies, Caroline Bridges. <laughs> this year's guy's best middle, Lincoln Shoemaker. Our best female base for the 23 school year, Anastasia Anderson! <laughs> Our best guy base, Nathan Stringfellow! Female best tumbler for this year goes to Hannah Louder. Our best male tumbler this year voted Bryson Bickler. Ah, uh, 
this is a good one. I got this one as a student. The most improved award. <laughs> and again, I had to set the bar pretty low to be able to get this one. But these guys, they came in with some skills and they got even better. So I, they're out of my league. So our female most improved this year goes to Sarah Scott. Our most improved male, Dante Saldivar! <laughs> Alright, and as I shared our unbroken award, our theme, the individual whose character, whose determination, whose work ethic, basically their presence on the mat encompasses what the essence of our theme promotes. And so this year is with great pleasure that we present the female award to Tian Carney. <laughs> The male unbroken award for this year goes to Juan Hernandez! We change gears to the Rayfon Lay Award, basically our, our team MVP in this year. The female Ray Fonley Award goes to Rebecca O'Dell! And this year's Ray Fonley Award for the men goes to Bryson Beckworth! All right, and so now there's another particular group that we want to really honor. We don't want them to leave without knowing just how special they were for their time here with us. And that is our seniors. So we have seniors who literally range from one to four years on the team, and each one of them, regardless of their time spent with us, has had a significant impact, whether it be through the moves that they held up, the things that they spotted, or just the character that they help to bring to continue to promote the culture that we want to share with others. And so it's a great pleasure and commemoration for your one year of commitment to gymnics, Santiago Avalon. So Santiago came to Academy Days last year, and just like we did this year, we had the handstand contest. And Santiago got up, and we started the timer, and everybody else was coming down, and Santiago was still up, and he was still up, and he was still up. But he came to the school, and he one of the things we love about him is just he fully immersed himself in what it meant to not just be at Highland, but to represent Highland Academy. And when he gets the opportunity, the man is excited to share whatever he can about his, not just his experience here, but how it's helped to bring him close to God and how he's doing it with others. And so, son, we've been glad to have you. In commemoration to his one year of commitment, Juan Hernandez. So Juan Daniel here, I have seen Juan, he came in again, first year newbie, but he came in wanting to jump right in the deep end. And so, mini tramp, he probably went a little too far into the deep end, but everything else, Juan is a back spot, and I have seen Juan make some tremendous saves. And one day I asked him, son, how are you that quick? And he says, you know coach, it scares me a little bit, but each time, I say a little prayer right before I tell us. <laughs> and so the Lord has been answering your prayers and ours, Juan, so we thank you.
For his two years of commitment to Highland Chimneys, Nathan Stringfellow. The only way that I can describe Nathan Stringfellow is a workhorse. I mean, that man, he lives to work, and it has been our privilege that we've been on his to-do list for the last couple of years. There is nothing that we have asked of him that he's not willing to do, or at least give it an honest try. And I have seen his wrists torn up, his shoulders a little sore, he might have got conked in the back of the head a couple of times, and then after he shakes it off against the water, breaks it, all right, let's do it again. And so Nathan, You'll be irreplaceable, son, but we're glad that you were able to give us a little bit of your time. <laughs> For her two years of commitment to the Gymnics team, Brooklyn Wisher! I know you're probably cringing at this very moment that I have to embarrass you in public. Well, for the sake of time, I'll save it for later where I can just get out with a megaphone here. But Brooklyn has come in and she has had an attitude of determination to make stuff happen. Where some of her classmates have been on the team for the full four years, Brooklyn came in her junior year and you know she might have had a little reservations about some moves, but man, her senior year came along. If there was something that we needed to make happen, if Brooklyn got in there, she was going to make it happen. She was going to make it happen. There was a couple of transitions, things that got shifted. Brooklyn said, I'll do it. And so Brooklyn, I appreciate uh, the, the laugh too. It gets me. We'll miss it, my eardrums might not, but we've been glad to have you, okay? In commemoration for her three years of commitment to Highland Gymnics, Hannah Loudon. I tell you, I can never overtell the story of what impressed me the most about Hannah Loudon. And so, I'm, I'm not spilling my purse right now and saying that Hannah didn't make the team her freshman year. And I tell students that one of the biggest things that I look for is how well you take that setback of not making it. And so for Hannah, that was, that was a blow. Her brother Micah was on the team, and I know it hurt. But the way that Hannah responded was she got her brother by the ear and she said, I want you to teach me everything that I need to know. And bless his heart, I saw Michael Loudon over there rolling out a mat every day during intramurals or during the rec. And he, gentle big brother teaching his baby sister whatever she needed. And you best believe it, the next year Hannah Loudon came back and she made that team. So we are proud of her. We got a little out of order and I will blame me because alphabets and numbers, once I graduated, they didn't matter unless it was my paycheck. So in commemoration of her two years of commitment to the Highland Gymnics team, Carly Alvarez. For those of you who do not know Carly, she is a doer. Carly is a worker bee, definition of it. And she has served as our team pastor this year. And I tell you, Carly is one of a group of senior girls that I can say, hey, I need this. Or they will say, hey, we need to do this. And they will figure out how to make it happen. And so it has just been a joy to know that we can put Carly in charge of a project where there is speaking, where there is a program that we want to happen. And that, man, she will make an impactful program come out of that. And so I've been blessed, I know your teammates have, and we've been grateful to have you, Carla. Alright, now we move to a special group, not better, just different, because this is my fourth year as coach, and these individuals that we moved to are four-year seniors. They were my first group of freshmen to make the team here at Highland. So they got a, a little place right there in the corner I call my heart. And so in commemoration of your four years of commitment, Maddie Schmidt. Woo! 
So again, picking on Maddie, one of the things that, and some of you who come through our rotation yesterday, I shared once you're on the team, we aren't just looking at your gymnastics abilities, but we're saying what other things, what other skills do you bring to the table that we can then continue to use to further what our team does. Maddie is very, very creative. And so for probably since at least the middle of her freshman year, if not her sophomore year, I've asked Maddie, hey, can you design some t-shirts? Hey, can you design backdrops? So the last two years worth of logos and things on the back of our wall, that was Maddie Schmidt. She designed it, she painted it. And so Maddie, so long as somebody has a Highland Gymnastics t-shirt in their drawer or wears it for the last three to four years, your legacy is firmly planted amongst the Gymnics realm. So we're just like that. In commemoration for her four years to the Gymnics team, Tian Carney. I feel like there's, there's several instances that I can pick on Tian and share, but I guess I'll go with one of the most recent things that would explain why she was one of our award winners there. This year, unfortunately, Tian had an accident here during one of the practices and she actually broke her collarbone. And that sat her, that took her out of the saddle through Union Agrofest. And I, I know that that was, that was a hard time. But during that stretch where she was recuperating, she was recovering, Tian didn't miss a practice that she didn't have to. She was still on the back of the mat. She was still in the background looking to see what things do we need to be doing so that we can continue to keep moving forward with our program. And then when she got back in the saddle, she was not missing a beat. She got there, she kept, again, one of my senior girls who makes things happen. And so we're, we're gonna miss you. You've been a fixture for a little while, so we're, we really appreciate it. This one represents the end of an era. Because we give this one to the last of his kind, Braden Byrne. Again, much like his forebears, Braden doesn't say much. And that's okay, because Braden is a hard worker. And outside of the gym, Braden is an RA force in the dorm. And his example matters. And when Braden says something, because he don't say much, people listen. And he has always used his influence to make things happen. And he's always been willing to be voluntold, even reluctantly. Say, even at the 11th hour, Braden, we need to make this work. Okay. And that's all it takes. And so, Braden, we're the last of a legacy. But it hopefully doesn't die with you. Maybe your children will come back and see you. In commemoration of her four years, Caroline Bridges. Caroline is an individual who is full of ideas. And again, Caroline, her brain is moving like the engine of a Ferrari. Mine kind of goes like a, like a two-stroke, two-stroke brick shred. But I tell you, I, she, she'll have something, and while I'm still trying to, to digest the last little thing that she got me, she already has her to-do list. And finally, she got to the point where she said, Coach, you just want me to do this? Say, can you? And so she's taking things and run with it. Or she'll come up and she'll say, I think we need to do this, and I believe that this is how it'll happen, and I believe that this is the best way. And I said, you have carte blanche, make this happen. And so Caroline is really... <laughs> this young lady embodies determination. And if you tell her that the sky is the limit, she will put on her space suit and she will prove you wrong. So one of the things that I loved about Rebecca is that she will not stop until she is 100% exhausted every 
means of being able to see if something can work, if something can hit. And she's always, she's infectious to her group with that mentality. Giving the boys the encouragement to need one more, one more. We just need to do one more. She's pressing and continue to push for that level of, of excellence, of professionalism that, you know what, if she's going to put it out, if she's going to put her name to it, she wants there to be something to be said of the professionalism and the perfection in the execution. And so, Becky, you've had an eye to that girls routine as a girls captain last year, and I know that we miss you as your role of team captain this year, and so we've just been very grateful to have you. first four years and so to commemorate that um, we got you something special as the four year seniors. We thought you should have your own plaque for your first year. <laughs> we also got something for all the coaches, um, a picture of your team that you help every single day and a card from the captains as well. We just want to show you guys that we appreciate you very much and how much you make us grow physically, but not only physically, but also our, grow our relationship with God. So we really appreciate you guys. David's still my middle name right. All right, well, we got just two more routines, and we are going to make this a timely evening where everybody will do it. Let's get set for done.
the joy of the Lord, it will be my strength when the pressure is on. He's making diamonds. Oh, the joy of the Lord, it will be my strength when the pressure is on. He's making diamonds. Oh, the joy of the Lord, it will be my strength when the pressure is on. He's making. He's making. He's making diamonds. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. When our team was introduced to this theme this year, we didn't realize how um, applicable it would be to our team. And um, at the beginning of the year, we start off with theme word. So unbroken was our theme. And so every day, the end of beginning and end of practice, we think, one, two, three, unbroken. And um, what we didn't realize is it would hit hard come in a few weeks. So the first couple weeks of the year was as normal, and then it seemed like all at once somebody was sick, and then the next day I was like, okay, maybe they're better now, they're back, and then somebody's like, oh, um, I tore something in my back. And it was like every day. I think we could probably count on two hands how many practices this year we had with everyone on the team able to practice. It was crazy. And um, we just kept pushing through and trusting God every day. One, two, three, unbroken. And we prayed, God help us to stay unbroken. And we had several performances, but that everyone on the team will tell you, we didn't have one performance the same. It got to a point in the year where it was like, are we actually learning anything new? Are we just plugging people in because people are getting sick and it was getting frustrating. We were like, God, help us to stay unbroken. And he did. He helped us to perform. He put people there at the right time to be able to fill in for us at different places that we went to perform. And God, without God, we couldn't have um, made it through. And so like, despite all these struggles, when we were felt hard-pressed, at times when we were felt discouraged and we felt the most like giving up. We found that we could give it to God and um, we could give all our, un our brokenness, our pain, our discouragement. And in return, we would get peace because through it all, there was Jesus. I hope you guys are blessed. <laughs> Jesus. In the 
Sometimes we feel like we're hard pressed. We feel like we're, we're beat down. We feel like we are cast down. But Lord, we get peace because there was Jesus. And Father, we are so grateful for Jesus. We're so grateful for the gift of salvation that we can have, the newness of life that he gives. And Lord, we're grateful for the opportunities that we have to celebrate and to share your talents, your abilities, your goodness through gymnastics. And so, Lord, that tie that binds each of us here on the mats together, in fact, everyone here in this auditorium, Father, we're grateful to be a part of the family of God, and we ask you please continue to sustain us, to keep us, to watch over us, to guide us, and to continue to keep us directed on that path so that one day each and every one of us can have the satisfaction of seeing you face to face in that kingdom. We thank you and we love you. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.